Good day friends and Glowforge owners. Today I'm going to walk you through some training that will let your youngsters use your Glowforge using the free and fun Google Drawings. So let's get cracking. The first step is for you to get to your Google Drive because that's about the only way I can find to click new and choose more and find Google Drawings. My plan here is to teach you how to make a keychain and the first part is going to be to make the keychain base. And I like to always label it with my initials so I can keep track of what I built. This document you can see is measured in inches. I like to build in millimeters, but I'm going to work with inches just because it's fast and fun with this project. Start by grabbing a shape. I'm going to teach you how to use the rounded rectangle. When you drag it out, just make it about four inches. And if you look over here on this side, I made it a little more than one inch. We do not want to fill, so make sure you set it to none. And then we're going to turn this to the color red because this is going to be something we cut. So when you click off, you can see that that will be labeled as a cut. Let's draw our keychain hole as well. Once again, it is a shape and it's going to be a circle. And just make it a nice size. You may notice that mine did not stay circular. I'm going to hit delete and do that again and I'm going to show you how to keep it in the shape of a circle. So before I click I'm going to hold down shift and that way it drags the same amount in every direction so my keychain hole stays a circle. I'm going to zoom in one click or I'm going to zoom and select. I can roll the wheel forward so I can see where it's going to be and I'm going to place it so that there's enough strength between them that it stays together. As before, I'm going to make it transparent because I want to cut that piece out. And I also make it the color red because when I bring it into the Glowforge app, these will go lower on the plane since they'll be cuts. You want to do all your designs before you cut the piece out of your wood. I'm going to zoom back out to fit. And then we are actually done with this part of the project. We can simply click File, Download as SVG. If you're in my classroom, you need to click Desktop and the Empty Tools folder and choose the shortcut to STL to save it to the location where we can get at these projects. Once you hit Save, your project is ready and you may move on to the next part of the training where you learn how to make your cool words. So hey friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, click notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.